Yo 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 it's your boy Toy Time King and welcome back to another Pokemon video. Today's video is gonna be doing random battles. Gonna try and get to you know top ten on random bats. It's gonna be a long task, honestly. It's gonna be a long task because as you can see, top ten in random bats or even top one hundred random bats is in the you know this is like twenty hundreds or do people even say twenty hundreds? But you know two thousand Elo for about top five hundred, even top one hundred in uh ran bats but you know we're gonna do it you know i've had a bit of practice games to having ran bats for gen 8 because dynamax is still a thing in random battles in gen 8 which is a bit annoying but i mean it is what it is really so you just have to deal with it really but yeah we'll be playing some ran bats this uh video so if you guys do enjoy this video please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content we are 90 subscribers now so we're just 10 away from the 100 subscriber mark so i'd highly appreciate it guys if you're new to the channel Please subscribe to the channel because you know you guys are going to be getting some good content consistently also guys if you want to follow twitter as well uh don't use this account this much this is my personal account but uh both of these accounts if you want to follow them i'll leave them in uh the description if you use twitter like that but yeah we'll be hopping on to rambat i think we're around uh i was playing a bit so we are at uh 1100 right now 900 elo away from uh our target but it doesn't matter really so we have bear tick versus bear tick you might have the same exact set as i do and we are probably the same exact set so do i want to risk the speed tie yeah man uh do i want to risk the speed tie when i have a skarmory in the back no not really because skarmory will pretty much take any attack this thing has so i'm going to swap out here because again don't want to risk the speed tie so we'll just do that Hopefully the video isn't laggy too much, but uh, he does go on to Claydon response and maybe he was expecting a superpower. Would have been nice if I could catch him out there, but looking at my team, dealing with Claydon is going to be a bit annoying. I mean, there's I mean, there's a Persimmon with U-turn and Bear Tick with Stab that will probably kill Claydon, but I don't know what to expect from this thing, honestly. I'll set a rocks and see if that will make me do anything but he goes on to Lipard here and that's pretty nice for me uh probably gonna go for damage here he might taunt me or even uncle me i don't mind if he uncles i'll just get a free damage as he does do that which i pro i expected to come out honestly but um ferrothorn is probably the next uh best play to make here obviously because you know Lipard won't do much damage to me so he does get out rocks now because of copycat but i'm thinking gyrable is pretty free here he might actually have taunt he t-waves me which doesn't matter uh and i do that much damage to him which is pretty solid and uh goes for knockoff actually does 31 to me which i'm shocked about coming from lipard i shouldn't underestimate his damage but yeah i'm gonna do that so one one down for him i got rocks up his clay doll is most likely the rapid spin so we'll see how long these hazards can stay up last time i checked i don't have a ghost type to use so yeah i'm gonna see how that uh, see how that goes honestly but yeah cool so in his response you could probably bring out a bear tick here as he does superpower will probably kill me judging from the fact that lipard was able to do 31 to me but again skarmory is the play i make here because i'm able to take a hit from this he could dynamax even uh as he does go for icicle crash and misses which is pretty nice for me i can get off free damage on clay doll potentially uh so he actually does stay in. I'm able to outspeed Bear Tick actually. He goes for the Icicle Crash again. Does actual good damage to me as I'm going to a Roost here because I'm able to resist the Icicle Crash because I lose the Flying type. And uh, feels like I'm losing. Uh, how much did Icicle Crash do? 58. Yeah, I need to Roost again. Need to Roost again. Cool. So he might even miss Icicle Crash here, honestly. And as he doesn't miss Icicle Crash, so I'm able to actually get more damage off here. And then roost up again and rinse and repeat. But yeah, after this battle, I'll probably restart my chrome. I'm feeling there's a bit of lag here for no reason. I'll have to sort that out. But yeah, again, we're going to Brave Bird here. You're, you're probably asking why am I not spiking? Because I don't want to waste spike. I want to get like damage off. So I do 38 to Claydol, which is not bad. And I have no ghost type to really stop the rapid spin. So I could just really... I, I could go out into... Uh, I don't know who to go out into here, honestly. 
I could just get free damage, but again, I could probably go bear tick. He probably will rapid spin here. Uh, yeah, as he does rapid spin, so I'm gonna get off an icicle crash here. Doesn't look like he has any switch-ins. I mean, I wouldn't know because I don't know his team. But I'm going to go for the Icicle Crash here because it does kill Claydol. He won't kill me with anything. He has Icicle Crash lands and Claydol is dead. So the next time I get rocks up, they're here to stay. Spikes as well. Unless he has like a Defog in the back, which I highly doubt. But <laughs> you never know with uh, you know, uh, Rambats. You could get like two Defog Mons. Uh, I wouldn't know. But yeah. Brings in Barbarical here, and I'm slightly afraid of this Pokemon because I know of its capabilities. So, my best bet here, he's going to Shell Smash here, or he might actually kill me here, but I go for Simeon, Dynamax, and go for Max Knuckle. That's my best plan. So, as he actually doesn't proceed to set up on me, I think CC guarantees me a kill here. It, it should. Or I just uh, go for Max Knuckle. I Dynamax here, honestly, as he does go into Man Mantine. I get the attack boost, which is pretty nice because I'm able for, to go for max rock fall uh, here and just uh, probably kill Mantine if he doesn't Dynamax. So, yeah, we'll see if he Dynamaxes here. Well, he should. Or he'll Dynamax one of his sweepers. Either way, oh, it actually doesn't. So, I go for max rock fall. Gives me Sandstorm, which doesn't help me out much, but I was able to kill, uh, what do you call it, Mantine. Surprised he didn't Dynamax, but. He might save it for one of these other Pokemon. But either way, I think the game's done. Like, look at his team. Three fighting weak mons, man. Persimian's going to eat this, man. He's going to eat this team alive. So, again, Max Knuckle here. As he does Dynamax himself, probably. So, he Max Guards, trying to waste my D-Max turns. As I do run out of D-Max turns, which is a bit annoying. But we just go for plus one uh, close combat should do a good chunk to Licky Licky even though it probably has a massive HP stat now uh, thanks to Dynamax so again I don't see myself losing this if if I can stall out Dynamax turns here like that still does 59 disgusting damage disgusting damage he could he's gonna max guard here probably because uh, he'll he'll let me die to uh, sandstorm damage shame that I have sandstorm damage up because uh, uh, Persimian would have been in this position. But yeah, uh, I, I can definitely bring out Ndidi because this is Ndidi male. So the faster offensive one and probably just expanding force everything and things die. So I'm expecting him to go for the max guard here. I don't know why this guy's taking so long to make a move. His round bats, like just click buttons really. Uh, I'm not calcing anything. There's no reason for me to calc anything. But he did get a spadef boost, which I'm slightly worried about. But Either way, I can expand and force here. Probably does a good chunk. Expand and force doesn't kill. And he goes for the knockoff, which... Ah, that actually sucks. I wasn't expecting that to not kill. I could actually lose to a Barracle now, which is very annoying. Probably could have gone out onto Pharaoh Thorn here. No, wait. Does he even... I don't think Bar Barracle Oko's Pharaoh Thorn at that range. Not with Earthquake, at least. But yeah, shame that... Shame that, oh wait, I'm still expanding force. This is still 156 base power on, on the psychic terrain. I, I could probably bag the win here, honestly. I forgot he knocks me off, but yeah, I managed to do that, uh, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go for expanding force yet again. Does a good 74 damage as he does shell smash here. I have priority on bear tick, but I can't use it yet because psychic terrain is still up. So he goes for liquidation. I don't even know if uh, Aqua Jet will kill from this range. Like, it doesn't resist water, so it should be fine. Uh, probably just stall out Psychic Terrain turns. I don't need a Molga to win me this game. So, Liquidation's going to kill me. Stone Edge is probably going to kill me. Uh, yeah, as he does land the Stone Edge. So, this is my chance of winning the game here. Uh, I'm going to click Aqua Jet here and hope Prey it kills. Doesn't kill, which is a bit sad. So... All I need to do is uh, get up spikes, really, because no way I can't do that. Oh, he has stone. He has cross chop. Oh, I did not see the cross chop. He could miss here. Yeah, I think I lose here. Yeah. Oh, I don't lose here. Wait, never mind. I, co I completely forgot about iron barbs. Okay, so I can secure the win here. Definitely. He has to. I'm going to roost to see what he locks in himself into. Hopefully, he doesn't predict like the superpower or something, because that would be pretty bad. 
if he gets this then well played to him if he gets superpower here very well played does that so i'm gonna roost here if he so the game's not over so you didn't click that uh cool he went for icicle crash which is pretty nice so now i just brave bird roost and uh yeah better losers so 11 damage here going for the icicle crash uh gonna roost here he's locked in because he's choice banded so yeah game's done there uh gg well played if i do say so myself so yeah good game from this guy took a bit long to actually like click his moves but uh yeah won the game there so that's good so i'm gonna restart my browser quickly because this is just lagging too much so yeah i'll be back guys okay guys i'm back and uh yeah so i'm not lagging anymore like probably need to upgrade my processor because everything else on my computer is fine it's just the processor and chrome gets a bit jarring sometimes when it comes to using cp and whatnot but either way uh so i have a togekiss i could just flinch hacks this dude like i really don't care like excuse me i could flinch hack him so yeah as he is faster than me which is very weird why are you faster than me oh he's a speed tie is he max speed he's max speed kate clado interesting either way i think it's oh he toxics me that's fine really fine i think i could just end the game right now with uh yeah i can end the game with togekiss right now honestly i'm gonna uh what do you call it dynamax here as I do lose the second speed tag, go for a max airstream here, get the kill. And Togekiss should proceed uh, proceed to sweep his team, uh, pretty much. Shame he toxic me. Definitely could have ended the game off this if he didn't toxic me. But yeah, doesn't matter. It depends on what he brings out, obviously. I'm still in the 1100s. We're going to try and get to the 1300s if we can. Uh, might max guard here. A protect ain't gonna save you man protect is not gonna save you you are going to take that much damage so cool he's again trying to stall out stuff always forget that yeah unless you want to d-max right now and just probably kill me that's that's your best uh, bet honestly scholopede's a bit dangerous mm, not particularly i have a cabalion and a uh, sand slash in the back i should be fine but he doesn't d-max and just sacks goal lurk here which is interesting. Uh, I just click air slash here. Bowler does not have shadow sneak. And I don't think shadow sneak would help it <laughs> anyway. But yeah. I'm taking 31. So you can just go on to Scolipede and uh, protect here. Uh, which I don't. I can use Togekiss as a sack somewhere down the line. So I'm going to keep it alive for now. Uh, I don't. I, there's no reason for me to sack it when I could bring out on a slower Pokemon and flinch axe. But yeah, I'll bring out Sand Slash here. Uh, go for the. Uh, I'll go for the Rapid Spin actually. Or I don't need Rapid Spin even. I'm just gonna go for damage. It's all about clicking buttons when you're playing random battles, especially in the low ladder, because you don't actually care. But he goes for the Protect. Ain't gonna save you, man. Uh, are you gonna set up in my face? This is a, this is most likely your max attack sand slash, and you don't take earthquake well. So, yeah, <laughs> good luck, good luck tanking that man. So he goes down to Zerud, I or Zerude, uh, probably Zerud. Okay, Dark Grass Cabalion just absolutely was this. I I think he gets CC, but he goes for Power Whip. Doesn't do any damage really. Uh, let me check this thing's move pool, man. I don't know what to expect from this uh brutal swing but it does get cc so i might as well just click cc versus it uh doesn't kill and he goes for close combat as well uh, i do outspeed zarud here yeah i do outspeed zarud so i can just go for another cc like when this thing comes out i wonder what tier is gonna be because looking at his stats is actually not that bad 120 base attack 105 base speed uh 105 HP and 105 defense. Okay, so Sand Slash again is a switching because I don't care. Like this will get to it killed. I don't think Scolopy takes an earthquake from Sand Slash at that range. But yeah, Zerud's going to be an interesting one to use. How is he getting the double protects? Oh wait, it's because the first one failed. Okay, cool. So he has Black Sludge. Doesn't really matter. Goes for earthquake against me. Does 18. I go earthquake and it kills. So yeah, protecting just wasting turns, man. I don't, I don't understand. So <laughs> like he's gonna belly drum me. Oh, this is dangerous. Very dangerous. This is what I'm gonna do. Rapid spin so I outspeed. 
as he does go for the Ayapa for Berry. Do that and just pray on high heavens. <laughs> this one is scary, man. Christ. My noon is dangerous, man. I think Rapid, Rapids don't have any priority on this team. Uh, no Sucker Punch. Probably don't live at E-Speed. No. Do I just lose from here? Oh, Dynamax is... Like, this is allowed. This is allowed. This is allowed. But wait a second. Why did he Dynamax? I outspeed him now. I, wait, but I don't even kill him. Oh, my life. My life. Ah, uh, how do I... How do I not lose? I, I just, I lose. <laughs> I can't do anything. This is crazy. Because he's just going to go for a max break and just kill me here. Or whatever the normal one is called. Max, max break? Max attack? I don't know. But I'll probably just lose here because I can't deal with it. He goes for max darkness, not clicking the stab move. Which is enough to actually kill me. So, really... Wait, why did I say? Wait, wait, wait. Stun tank. Yes, stun tank. Yes. Cool. Stomping Town Drum is contact. E speed is contact. I still win this game. Which is pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. So, E speed kills me. Aftermath activates. Hopefully, his last mon isn't something too dangerous. I might have actually needed Blastoise here. As is Heliolisk. And, uh, what? Looking at Heliolisk speed, since it under speed is, uh, Goes for focus blast, doesn't do too much. I just click uh, psychic twice here. Doesn't miss focus blast, but yeah, I just win the game here because yeah, he forfeits. Good game. Ah, uh, that was uh, like Nuno was about to be very dangerous if I wasn't careful. Is, is anything happening in this chat? Is Discord still Discord is still dying right now at the time of this recording? Discord is dying. So yeah, either way. Drapion versus Rangu, not the best matchup for me whatsoever. I actually don't know what to use versus uh, Drapion here. Because uh, again, he's just going to go for knockoff. But uh, what's expendable here? I, I can't do anything really. Like I'm just going to have to go center scorch and pray for the best. This thing has good matchup versus me. As he does 2-8 queuing me with a uh, knockoff here. Uh, I'm just going to have to go for the Fire Lash. Get, get damage off on this thing. I I need Drapion gone because this thing would have probably killed my Rangu as its life orb. So yeah, Bad Lash is the play to go for here. Again, we're gonna try and get to the 1200s today. Uh, oh wait, 1300s definitely can do in this playthrough. So yeah, don't know how many episodes this is gonna be, but you know, again, to, uh, to get to 2000s on Rambats is basically top 500. So definitely something that's achievable. Definitely something that's achievable. So, what's his approach to Center Scorch? You could probably go out onto any fire resist you have. Unless, if you don't, if you don't have any, then peak times. But he goes for Poison Jab, which doesn't kill me, and does get the poison on me, which kind of sucks. But he was gonna kill me anyway. But didn't zero damage. So I am Scarf Drake as well. Uh, hopefully I don't miss. Uh, what do you call it? Earthquake. Well, I could just go for Bolt Beak, honestly. It doesn't really matter what I go for here. But as long as I don't miss... Okay, landed the first one. Cool. So, Dracozor was able to kill Drapion here. I d so, he brings in Avalug. This mon is just going to kind of destroy stuff. So, Orangu is, again, my best bet because you probably take a hit. As he does start setting up Curse... I will set up on you as well, man. Don't underestimate me. So he goes for Avalanche. Not going to risk missing Focus Blast. I'll just click Psychic here. Brings it down to Sturdy. No surprise there. As he does go for another Avalanche and kills me there. So. Avalog is low enough for me to bring out Lycanroc and uh, click. Uh... Watch me miss Stone Edge though. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? That I missed Stone Edge. Cool. Giratina was probably the better play there, honestly. I don't know why I didn't bring it out. When I easily could have clicked Hex, but I lost my Lycan Rock now, which is a bit annoying. But either way, hopefully the combination of uh Giratina Origin form, which is the more offensive one, uh Scarf Drake as well, and uh 
everything else. <laughs> but yeah, he brings in Polkia here. I don't get the outspeed on this, but... Uh, do I even take a Draco Meteor from this? Probably not. 52! Ah, Blossom, you, you are impressing me. You are impressing me. So he brings out Kabalion here. I can honestly just start setting up with this. Uh, he's Sheer Force here. I'm going to Quiver Dance again. I don't think I'm in range of any attack. And if I am, then I'm stupid for doing this. So he starts doing that. But no, bro. No, bro. Nah. Cool. I'm going to go for Max Overgrowth. Just so I can get some free damage off. I'm able to do that. Max Overgrowth again. Goes for Sucker Punch. Polkia should not kill me with anything. Kabalion's neutered. Uh, and I'm just going to go for another Max Overgrowth. See how much damage that's doing. That's doing a ton. And I'm just going to Strength Sap back. So Kabalion can't even do anything when it's awake. So GG. <laughs> Easy game, man. Blossom beating all these legendary Pokemon, man. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm happy I went into it as I did. It actually took Polkia's Drake and Meteor better than I expected, which is pretty nice. It has a, it has a good natural Spideff stat. So, yeah. Uh, great start. Uh, Arachnid versus... Mm, no, actually not that bad because he does uh, less damage. Uh, Famus are halved against Arachnid. So, I can just go for a Liquidation as he goes for Rock Slide, Sheer Force Boosted, and I get a kill. So, that's nice. He was probably trying to go off uh, Flinch Hacks, potentially. But Arachnid was able to live the hit. So, big threat in Darmanitan disappeared now. So, that's good. As he does bring out more Pico in return. So, well, Persian A could probably take a hit or two for more Pico, honestly. As he does go for the Aura Wheel. Does 69 damage. Uh, wait, 69 did 31 percent. My bad, guys. My bad. But I don't have damage to actually hurt this, really. Maybe Lorantis could have been the better play because I could at least storm. But either way, he can't go for Aura Wheel now because it's a dark time move. So he, uh, parting shots here, probably into something that can deal with this. A Raconid is now a sack, so I don't really mind. Uh, so he brings out Absol here. P probably get off a Belly Drum. To lap berry but he is uh what do you call it he does have sucker punch so that's might be a bit difficult to pull off but what does absolute do here don't i just click like thunderbolt again i don't i don't really need persian here for more pico uh necessarily because i have lorantis in the back lorantis doesn't take much from aura real when it's an electric move so and i just go for leaf storm so Ice Q is also a, uh, an additional win con for me if it can actually like substitute on something. I do go for uh, the T Ball, which uh, two it cures Absol, as he does go for uh, what do you call it? Play rough uh, thing. Ooh, what do I do here? Because he's just going to sucker punch me again. Don't really care. It doesn't sucker punch me, which is interesting. So me and Absol go down. He's two mons down, which is perfectly fine with me. I can go on to use Salazzle here, sub toxic stuff. If he brings out more Pico, then. Again, uh, he brings out Archeops here, which I outspeed. So, what's my plan versus Archeops? Because this thing does hella damage. Cool. Cool, cool. Might have to D Max here. Go for Max Flare. Pray to God it brings it into the Fetus range and see what I can do. So, does 65. Doesn't do any damage as he does go for Earthquake killing me. So, couldn't do anything there. A huge shame, honestly. This one's dangerous, man. This one's dangerous. I'm gonna go on to Lorantis here. Hopefully, Zapdos is enough to deal with more Peko. As he does go for U turn, doing that much damage to me. Uh, more Pico comes in on uh, Leaf Storm. Does not appreciate that. How do I win this? He lost his priority, though. I think Ice Q can pretty much win the game from here if I set up Belly Drum. But he's gonna aura wheel here, so I can't potentially like do that. So I'm gonna bring out Zapdos here as he does go for foul play, which does 29 to me, and I think Heat Wave is pretty free. I think I set up on Archeops or any other physical mon if he has any, and then win from there. So 
I'm gonna kick Heat Wave because it will kill in Sun at this range. Don't want to miss. Uh, Hurricane won't do anything, and Heat Wave is the only move I have. So, who are you gonna bring out here, man? I want to see. Are you gonna keep more Pico alive? A Raconid is a sack for Ice Q to get in, so you know I don't really mind. It's basically a free switch for me here. Very, 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 very interesting stuff here. But yeah, why is this guy taking so long? So he goes for Aura Wheel. Uh, so I land Heat Wave, which is nice. He brings out Archeops. Perfectly fine with me. Because I think uh, Thing can just win from here, honestly. So we go for the... Wait, I swear Salak doesn't activate at 50% though. Salak activates at 25%. Oh, this game might be a bit more difficult than I anticipated. No, it doesn't matter. I lose Ice Face. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because I know Ice Q is a pretty fast mon. So, I might need Zapdos. So, the most useless mon here is a Raquanid. So, you miss a Stone Edge. You miss again. <laughs> I highly appreciate it if you miss again, but you'll just click U turn. Because I doubt this is a choice lock to, what do you call it, Archeops. But yeah, we belly drum here. And we pick up the win. Simple, simply, simply put. Taunts me, bastard. Was not expecting taunt. Well, it doesn't matter. He goes for Earthquake here. Go for Ice Cool Crash, get the kill. I can't set up reliably now, which is a bit annoying. Taunted me. That's very sad. Very, very sad. Oh, I could have... Oh, yeah, Steelix as well. Cool. I need damage on this. I, I could potentially... Oh, D-Max is here. As he does go for that one. I can roost. He's getting defense boosts. Which is a, is pretty scary at first. But I still have Lorantis in the back. Do I have Synthesis on this? Yes, I do. So, we roost here. If he, predi if he clicks Earthquake, then well played. But I'm roosting. As he does clip Max Rockfall. Cool. He's gonna upquake? No, he keeps Max Rocks falling. Cool, so now I click Heat Wave so I can get chip damage on Steelix. Click Synthesis. Oh, Synthesis ain't gonna even heal me that much because of Sandstorm. Bit annoying to deal with. Hey, no, he's in range of Leaf Storm and I get the burn. We love to see it. We love to see it. We love to see it. Now, guys, <laughs> I'm not for hacks here, but like, oh my god. <laughs> we love to see the burn love to see it as he does go for earthquake here i'm just gonna kill it now miss heat wave uh nice 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 cool i'm gonna synthesis here just to get our health back i don't think steelix does anything to me he does have head smash which is very dangerous stuff but he's burnt so goes for heavy slam doesn't do anything really go for loose storm get a kill and his last mon We'll, we'll have to see what his last mon is, but yeah, this is good. This is good. This was this was closer than I imagined. It's double. Cool. I just click. I he he just dies to a plus two leaf storm, honestly. But yeah, that could have been dangerous if I missed that. But yeah, we managed to get the win there, so that's good. So on to the next game. Rambats are just quick games, you know. Like you're in them and you're out. Cool. So he leads off Basculin. I lead off with Bishop. Potentially has superpower here. So again, my best play is most likely Polyrath here. I don't want to lose my Bishop early to a superpower. He does have flip turn. Sucks that I'm not freaking water absorb. Because now he's going to bring out a Pokemon that can deal with Polyrath. So that's a bit annoying. Why is this Swift Swim if I have no rain? I don't understand. Oh man, this is as bad as Pyrotoz sets, man. Like, what the hell? So he brings out Gallade, which obviously has oh his own rain dance. That's why. So Gallade is in. Obviously, my best play would obviously be bringing in the likes of uh, Necrozma Dusk main because I resist Psychic and I should be able to take like a CC. But yeah, Polyrath is not staying in versus this. I might need it. But yeah, brings out Basculin in return. I might just start Dragon dancing up as he goes for Flip Turn. Most likely banded. That is disgusting damage. That is banded. You're doing 41. Yikes. Basculin's a very dangerous Pokemon, guys. Very, very dangerous indeed. But yeah. 
I start setting up Dragon Dance, honestly. Who's he gonna bring out here? Baskin is a dangerous Pokemon. This I know is like banded. And I, at least I know it's physical. So here we do that. I'm gonna mourn in Sun to see what they do. Because they activate my weakness policy. Brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. We kill. We get we get a kill here. I don't care how it goes, we get a kill here. So I'm at plus three attack now, plus one speed. I'm going to Dynamax and I'm going to get a kill here. So doesn't Dynamax here, Glade's dead. Get a defense boost, which is very nice. This one can probably just 6 0 on the spot right now. So Vasculin won't kill me with anything. He brings out Gengar. I should outspeed Gengar. Go for Max Quake. As he does D. Oh, Gigantamax is Gengar. Gets a kill as well, man. The Crosma Dusk main. That's how we do it, man. And the game's done. I was hoping they had like. A, I didn't even know what Gale got because I knew it could have Earthquake, but knockoff. But yeah, this one already just did the work. So good job, uh, the Crosma Dusk main. Very, very good. Very, very good. So, Alcumi versus Wigglytuff. Uh, this could be pretty dangerous depending on what set this Alcumi is. Because if it's the likes of like I Acid Armor, that stuff, then I'm in for a very tough game. In for a very, very tough game. So, can't even bring out Zekrop. I have two Dragon types, man. What a great start. I'm going to light screen here as he does bring in Deli Bird. Okay, so he hasn't allowed Alcumi to set up if he even has any set up on it, which is pretty nice. So he starts setting up spikes. Uh, I'm just gonna go on to this. this has Swords Dance. Shouldn't shouldn't really care about Deadly Bird. This thing doesn't get any moves that are super effective versus me. Doesn't get any. I don't think Deadly Bird gets liquidation. Liquidation. Yeah, it doesn't get liquidation, which is pretty solid. So, we're going to set up Swords Dance here. He might be Focus Sash on this uh, Deli Bird. So, oh, Blissey. Blissey, Blissey, Blissey. Blissey, Blissey. No, man. No. You're going to die. You're going to die. Max Flare, 130 base power. Dead. Dead. Finished. Finito. Finished. Fini. I don't care. Je fini. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> Two Afini. Oh my days. I'm still wondering when I'm gonna be able to use French again in my life. But yeah, Max Lightning. Oh no, Max Flare obviously does more damage because it's stab. Good luck taking this. Oh, Max Guards. Okay, fine with me, man. Fine with me. You're gonna be taking a whole chunk of damage from this attack. Almost kills it, which is pretty solid. So Max Airstream doesn't do anything because I'm dual screens. I can just uh, Flare Blitz. Doesn't really matter. I still have one more turn of Light Screen. So it goes for Max Lightning. Probably should have Max Guarded so Light Screen runs out. That probably would have been the better play. But oh well. Doesn't matter. I, I'm in a situation where I can win this game. So it's fine. Brand bats are easy money, man. Easy money. This is why I'm climbing this, man. Easy money. Don't have to build anything. But if I get dead matchups, because all of the ran, I've only lost like two games, I think. Brand bats, ran bats. Uh, twenty one. So ran bats. So I've only lost two games. The first game was Sizzle literally six would my team. I had no responses. I, I had nothing to deal with Sizzle, so I mean, what can I expect? So we've actually reached the 1300 guys, and uh, probably we'll play one more game just to you know solidly get into the 1300, and then we continue another day. So yeah, it's been a successful episode today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, but yeah, last game to play, and hopefully luck is on our side. So he, so I lead off with Lapras versus Conkelda. This is a uh, Gigantamax Lapras, which is pretty nice. Again. Don't want to be taking a fight and attack from the likes of a Conkelda. So I might just go into Robombi, like straight switch it in. Because webs will be very nice to have this game. It does go for knockoff. Uh, I'll, I'd rather get off a sticky web than get damage on Conkelda. Because I do have... Uh, what, what's my Conkelda answers? Uh, Clawitzer. I'd rather get webs up. So he does go for uh, uh, Unpheasant here. 
getting off a stun spore would be very nice here as he does go for brave bird killing me so that's nice that's nice good damage cool so here's lapras coming in with g max resonance as i am going to get a kill here so that's nice and i get a row avail so i've primed myself in a position where i can win so i'm gonna gigantamax here click g max resonance get the aurora veil on my side and it's pretty much gg at that point so he goes down to slow bro thinking this thing really takes attacks g max resonance does a solid 27 go for max lightning here as he does start setting up calm mind and i'm just like bro you're not getting you're, no no bro no so shame i couldn't like get like solid kills on things like concalda for example or on pheasant he gives me slow bro which i'm confused about he might have actually needed that but alas 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 but yeah these these guys take too too long to actually get these mons but yeah uh i don't mind sacking lapras i think lapras has done his job i'm just gonna do that get good damage off against concalda oh wait i cured his burn ha no sort of damage no sort of damage i didn't even know that the user is not fitting the target skill i didn't even know sparkling aria did that that's actually a pretty cool interaction i made it lose its uh what do you call it facade boost so that's very nice i did not even know it's capable of doing that but yeah webs up in freaking ram bats is amazing stuff because you're able to just be faster than everything so I'm going to go for Sparkling Aria here, as he does go for Grass not critting me, which is kind of sad. Very sad, actually, but it is what it is. Um, Frost Lass is in. I'm going to click Ice Beam, because I can. I outspeed Tornadus. He still has to Dynamax, so that does solid 68 to Tornadus as he goes for Heat Wave. Uh, just going to Ice Beam and get a kill. So he brings out Terrakion, the big boy himself, Terrakion. I'm just going to Destiny Bond. He's probably going to get... Uh, he's probably going to go for an attacking move here. As he does go for Earthquake killing me. So yeah, Terrakion's dead. I pretty much just bring out Clawitzer on anything. Uh, click Ice Beam. Because uh, Unpheasant is just going to die. And depending on his last Mon, which is Pre-Marina, we'll see how I can win this game. Yeah, Primarina resists all of Clawitz's attacks, which is a bit annoying. Probably gonna Dynamax this. I'm I'm in pretty uh, like dangerous waters right now because of this Pokemon. I have nothing to hit it with. So he goes for Misty Terrain, Max Starfall. I'm just gonna go have to go for my strongest attack, really. Scold. No sort of damage. Hopefully I can stall out. Uh, yeah, I stall out Dynamax here. Hopefully uh, Archeops can get me a kill. Not at that range, it can't get me a kill. I have to pray for a crit here. I know Archeops is... So, I don't kill. So, that's a shame. Really a big shame. I had nothing for a uh, thing. So, yeah. We did manage to get to the 1300s, but I'm probably not in the 1300s anymore because of that loss. But yeah, sorry to end on the L, guys, but it is what it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. I'm going to be trying to record as much of these random battle videos as I can because it is good content to make. And, you know, just branching out of PU right now. And FEPL is happening right now. Like, I'm kind of having a slight burnout on, like, playing PU. Like, I mean, I'm still, like, participating in chat and whatnot, but I'm not playing as many games as i could be playing because of just like general burnout and whatnot i am building like teams and stuff but yeah just having like a little break from pu and like playing random battles is a bit interesting to say the least but yeah thanks again for watching guys wrote 100 subscribers only 10 more guys if you haven't subscribed please i would highly highly appreciate it but yeah see you guys in the next one peace